Okay, YouTubers, here we go again. We'll make a project video here. Now, this is a frame that I've had for several years, just sitting in the corner of my one of my corners of plunder, as one of our fellow YouTubers likes to describe it. Thanks, Jeff Raymond. Uh, but it's got four nice caster wheels on it. And what I want to do is I want to take these upright parts, all four of them off the corner, get rid of this shelf. I'm going to cut this bar here and the other bar and these two bars here. I'm going to make this, open this thing up to where it is like a 40 by 80. Why do I want to do that? Because I have a three point tiller that goes on the toy tractor, as I like to call it. And I want to be able to store it over here on the concrete and be able to move it around real easy to hook up and unhook. Basically, what I'm going to do is, you know, I've been here with my snowblower. It's the same, I had a couple of those, about three of those frames all together, but I took one of those frames, cut it down, and I've been calling it a skateboard. But I've got it set to where I can set the snowblower on it, strap it down, and I can roll this thing around my shop wherever I want, out of my way, in my way in most cases. But it makes it easier to roll up, back the tractor up to it, and roll up to it, to hook onto the three-point three-point arms up to the pins and PTO up and everything. Just a lot easier to hook up that way. Um, so, project is make another one. So, I'm going to cut this thing apart, stretch it out, open it up. I got a, a piece of plywood over yonder I can set up, bolt it all together with after I weld the frame back together and then I will get the tiller out of the horse barn I'll set it on here and that way I can roll it off into a corner and and have it there when I need it whenever that is anyway here's the start of one so if you want hang around and I'll uh, uh, show you the steps of what I'm gonna cut this in half and take things off of it and blah 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 but uh, yeah, hang around, and I'll try and show you the steps of the madness that I'm doing here. Okay, there's step one of this latest project, which was take all this, take all this stuff here off, and just get down to the basic frame. Uh, now, what I'm gonna do next is gonna be uh, take the hand grinder. That's why I ended up using to cut this apart. I was going to use my sawzall, but that didn't work out very well. So I went for the handy dandy four inch grinder over there, went through a couple grinding wheels, and cut the four sides, cut them off. So the next project is to take the grinder, grind this here down flat, where I couldn't quite get even with this. And then after that, and it's going to be fine center, cut that in half, fine center, cut this in half, and then I will probably utilize, this is the plan, believe it or not, I actually have a plan, take and utilize this material and weld it to the frame I'm going to extend. Uh, see what I actually got. You can laugh if you want, but hey, I have a plan. If you can see it or not very well, I don't know. But there's roughly what I want to go to. The rough dimensions of what the base of the frame is, uh, how wide I want it, what I've got to add to it. And the same goes for the width and length, cut and add to, and then what I plan on putting on there to set the tiller on. 
because uh, right now I don't like leaving the tines down on the in dirt or on the rock, whatever. I actually have the t tiller, the skid shoes. Let's go over here. I've got the skid shoes set on the tiller. I've got a 4x6 set on the ground. So the runner of the tiller is sitting on this and supporting the tiller. And so that way, at least in the horse barn where it's at right now, the tines aren't in dirt, rotting away, sinking, soaking, whatever. Um, plus, sitting on here, there's no weight. The way the tiller is not setting on the tines and uh, forcing them down into the dirt or whatever, they're sitting on this and they're up out of the ground. Uh, Plan the same with the with this. I'm going to have it set the tiller set here on the four by six, and that way there's no weight setting along here on the tines, and uh, it should work out. I think it will. Anyway, there's the next step of my mess. Uh, method of madness, what I'm doing, trying to do right or wrong. Uh, so, if you want, stick around. I'll show you the next thing I do. If not, well, hey, thanks. But, uh, yeah, hang on. I'll show you something else here in a few minutes. Or, well, wait the next step. Okay, YouTubers, here we go. Starting the next steps of the... Uh, process of making me a what I'm calling a skateboard for my three-point tiller to go on my little toy tractor and here's where we're on the steps right now uh, I already showed you the rough sketch I got my plan uh, what I want to do uh, I've already got pieces of the material left over from the uprights that went on here and there you know, on the four corners for this how it was originally done and I got it marked right where I want to cut for, to extend this side out extend these out and and I've got the piece of the tubing from those um, vertical parts of the assembly already cut the length uh, now I just gotta get this on the over to my bandsaw and cut them and then I'm just going to do these two cuts first get the length of it down and I'll put it in these pieces of angle I've got laying around here and uh, you know set them in there like that a lot of you guys know the, know the drill but put it in there take some clamps clamp it tight then I'll break out my uh, uh, wire welder. Um, it's just a cheapy wire welder. I'll show it to you here in a little bit. I'll show it later in the video. But anyway, uh, yeah, clamp it all together. Then I'll start welding it back up. As you can see, I've, if you notice, I've already kind of I've ground, took the grinder out, got these kind of evened up so they're not so bad, um, a little more even level whatever you want to call it uh yeah here's the cutting method got an old dayton bandsaw um i'm gonna take and uh set that up on these steel horses saw horses for lack of a better term stands and then i'll set up and do the cut and go from there so anyway if you want keep hanging around i appreciate it if not, well, okay. Skip on to the end. You may get to see. You'll get to see uh, what I got done. Anyway, hang in there. And there's your clip of this bandsaw actually cutting uh, the frame. If you want to see that or not, but there you go. Uh, got the stand set to support the weight of the of the dang thing, and. Uh, it don't take long to zip through. We've got a pretty good blade on it. But it hadn't started much, had me hitting the video button. But, uh, yeah, 30, almost 40 seconds. 
So yeah, it's gonna run. Now it automatically shuts off. Almost a minute to cut through that. Uh, so anyway, there's your that clip. Hang in there. We'll keep showing you some more. And there is the welder I'm going to be using to do this job. My little cheapy wire welder. It's a Century 80 uh, gasless wire feed welder. Uh, it's got a short duty cycle on it, so I can't do heavy, heavy welding real quick with it or anything like that, or excessive welding. But it just plugs into a 120 outlet. Um, just for power, you got high and low. Not a lot of choices. Always run on high. Uh, your range, one and two. I always tend to run on two with the range. But just a simple wire feed welder. Got your gun, trigger, hood. Um, uh, one thing I do a lot, use a heavily with it, is the label's gone, but this gel dope crap to help control some of the splatter um, keep it kind of neat and as you can see I uh, got part of the frame and an extension piece clamped into place with the angle uh, I got the other piece side and an angle over there to help hold this level and even uh, so that being said give me a few minutes well I'm going to take a few minutes, but give me a moment, and I'll get this welded up and uh, show you my ugly bubblegum welds, and uh, you can laugh, giggle, or whatever, and go, that'll never hold, but I'm hoping it holds, because once I get everything back to everything together on it, that should hold and be fine. Should. Anyway, hang in there. If you're, if you're still watching, I appreciate it, and I'll, be, I'll show you some more in a few minutes. Or so. Yeah, I can't talk either. My mind's going 1,000 miles an hour and every way but the right way. But anyway, I'll show you some more in, a few, in here shortly. Hang in there. Okay, give you a quick update type deal on the progress of this project, which is, oh, well, it's coming along slow. Anyway, as you can tell, if the camera shows or not, or picture shows, I'm not sure. You see where I've ground a little bit of an angle. On both pieces, create a little bit of a valley to fill with this, uh, with the uh, weld um, off the spool. And as as I have pointed out in the past, I am not a welder; I am a grinder. As you can tell right here, I have ground my welds down to where they're fairly flat. And as you can tell, I'm clamping the part in the angle parts to keep things straight as possible so they're not all wonky. And as you can tell here, I've got clamps all over this. Down through there, get that clamped up and done. And as soon as I get this one here welded in place and welds cleaned up to where I can clamp cleanly to this, like I did with that one, then I will grab that other section and put it on this end. Then I'll see where I'm at with it. Um, so anyway, another clip. Hang on, we'll keep showing you what, as we go. Hey, I just want to show you a real quick clip. Every once in a while I can make a halfway decent-ish looking bead. Uh, like I said, I'm a grinder, not a welder. Uh, of course, I will end up grinding it down flat before it's all said and done. But you know, just uh, hey, look at there! I can almost weld. And there it is, ground off. Nice, neat, fairly flat. And uh, you know, hey, thanks for hanging around. Uh, just keep hanging around. And I'll get this whole thing put together and we'll make up something here in a little bit. And uh, I'll try to bore you with my uh, ability, inability, whatever. But uh, yeah, just hang around. I'll show you some more. Okay, YouTubers. I think I'm just going to make this a two part video. Um, bore you that way. But anyway, 
there's everything welded up so now that way this should be 80 inches long and uh, it'll accommodate the width of the tiller and the, with the uh, gearbox on the left side and then the or drive yeah gearbox no gearbox in the center on that damn thing my mistake it's a land pride tiller uh, but anyway gear drives in the center and it drives off the left side so off the left side will be your uh, drive chain and and uh, sprockets and all that stuff hang up that side there so and your stands on that side also uh, so anyway here we go we should be about 80 inches long from point a to point b there's my welds all four sides of the square tubing ground down uh, and then on the next part we'll go part two I'll make my other cuts I'll cut this side here this side end here we'll put weld in the 17 inch long pieces and make that to where that is 40 inches instead of 23 that it is right now um, and then we will put uh, when, I do, when I do it then I'll show you that finished width part and then I'll show you the finished part when it's got the um, uh, I think I'll put I think I got some half inch plywood um, that I'll put over the top of it um, and then I'll put the like I said I think I got four by six is the thing sets on the tiller sets on now I'll put them on the ends and that way the tiller can the runners can the tiller can sit on the blocks that way the, there's no weight sitting on tines the tines aren't just set into stuff and uh, we'll go from there so anyway uh, I'm going to stop on my head. Uh, there again, you know, some, some of you found the uh, subscribe button was over here. Yep, I'm putting that subscribe button over here again. Uh, some of you found that subscribe button. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, the rest of you and everybody else, give me the thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave me a comment. I'll try and uh, get back with you one way or another. And I'll try to entertain you one way or another. But... Uh, Anyway, I'll stop on my head and say thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Stay safe.